So uh, this is a follow-up video uh, to one of the videos I had done earlier, which was um, we recreated the uh, the Blender benchmark that AMD had done at their New Horizon event back in December. Uh, we did that on some Intel processors, and we took the information that we collected from those uh, from those benchmarks, as well as the information that AMD provided, to try to extrapolate the IPC of Zen. And this is before Zen had been released. So, uh, anyway, so fast forward to today. Uh, I know this is a video that some of you guys have been waiting for, so uh, I wanted to, to get right to it. I don't have a lot of time, so this one is just going to be a quick video, uh, but I do want to explain a couple of things. Um, I had to uh, make some changes to, to status core to get it to support the Ryzen processor. Uh, one of the big differences here is the way that it records its uh, performance counters are on a per thread basis instead of a per core basis. So what you'll see in the left hand side here with status core is that we have a total of 16 threads instead of instead of just saying eight cores. And uh, what that also means is that the IPC that you're going to see when we run this benchmark is going to be half of what you uh, what you would expect or what you would have expected if I was only showing cores. Um, but that's not going to change the outcome at all. Uh, we're just going to have to make that correction when we calculate the final IPC. We need to multiply by two to get the core to go from the uh, to go from the thread IPC onto the core IPC. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, I've I've brought up the spreadsheet that has all of our data that we collected from Status Core during that benchmark, and um, I just want to show you the clock speed here. Uh, I can put that in a graph, and you can see the clock speed was pretty much uh, was pretty much locked at 3990. And and the reality is, is it's it the rate the the multiplier is set for four gigahertz, and so the fact that it's not 4000 exactly is just due to sampling error or rounding error or something. Uh, so let's go check in on our IPC over here in the right hand column. Yeah, and so that, that pretty much looks just like uh, in our other videos where uh, IPC starts off pretty strong and then uh, over time it, it, it dips. Uh, and so uh, that's, that's consistent. And really what we're interested in seeing though is the average IPC over the, entire, uh, over the entire run of that benchmark. So that's pretty easy to calculate. Uh, we don't have to interpolate anything. We just, we just grab the data. So over here in this, in this cell, I'm gonna calculate the average. All right, so that shows us an average IPC of per thread of 0 0.97. And I'm gonna go ahead and calculate the average uh, MIPS is uh, 3873, and the average clock speed, of course, being 3980. So now remember what I said earlier is that uh, we're looking at thread IPC and not core IPC. So before you guys freak out and say, oh my God, that's really slow, uh, we just have to multiply uh, the number by two in order to get to the core IPC. So take this cell times two, and there you have it. Uh, the Ryzen CPU is at 1.95 IPC. Uh, if you recall, the Broadwell E was at 1.93 IPC. So what we're gonna do is if we type 1.95 divided by 1.93, um, that tells us that the, uh, the Ryzen processor has about a 1% IPC advantage over Broadwell E, uh, and then the, um, the Cabby Lake processor, if you recall, was at 2.07. So we divide that by 1.95, and that tells us that Cabby Lake is about 6% faster in IPC uh, than the Ryzen uh, 1800X. So uh, what, one thing to note um, is that this, this number is uh, a little bit lower than what I had estimated in my previous video. And the reason for that that I think um, it has to do with the memory speed on this computer. Uh, I haven't been able to uh, to get it to run at 3200 megahertz. The fastest that I can do is 24, and I think that's impacting the score a little bit. That's that's one possible explanation. Uh, the other possible explanation is that AMD uh, misled us. Uh, you know, maybe they lied to us in their uh, in their New Horizon event, where if you remember, they said that the uh, the Zen processor was running at 3.4 gigahertz, and it completed. The benchmark in three uh, in 35.1 seconds. I haven't been able to cre recreate that score. Um, I can get 35 seconds if I'm running at 3.6 gigahertz. So that's a little bit slower. So you know, take that for what it's worth. Um, uh, I'm going to give AMD right now the benefit of the doubt and just kind of go with it's the it's the memory speed that's uh, that's holding me back. So hopefully that 
that uh, will be resolved in a future BIOS update. I don't know. I'm not sure if I should hold out hope for that. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.